it's time to get healthy. Every team in the NFL has issues. Uh, no doubt about that. And the longer you play football, I don't care what level it is, high school, middle school, you know, college, it, injuries are a thing. It just happens whenever you have grown men running and colliding into each other 70 times plus a game. Injuries are just going to happen. So the 49ers have been one of the most, you know, healthy teams in the entire NFL, you know, this past month. Now that's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to go crazy exponential because not only does this upcoming game not matter at all to you or really to the Rams because they've locked up their game as well. So it, it's just such a weird 40 dollars versus Rams scrimmage is, is what it's going to be. Um, you know, the, the NFL came out and they released their timing of the game. It's going to be the late game Sunday, which is fine. It's, it's not an issue for, you know, it doesn't really affect the 40 dollars anyway or not. And then you get the bye week afterwards. And so the, the way in which that you can handle all those different things, it's going to be interesting now. And, and I want to get this out there early because shout out to the wonderful Juan Salas, you know, getting everything that all these clips and all that kind of different stuff, just huge. And here is the main, main man, Kyle Shanahan, talking about how important this bye week is and everything heading into as far as health goes. Uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, these last couple of weeks, just we've been a little banged up. Um, there's been a couple of positions that just we've been getting real thin at. Um, guys had to push through at a number of spots, and some of those guys are doing that. Hopefully, um, the, this will help them out. Now, the bye week's easy. Yeah, you can't play. There's no game. You just rest. You get a couple extra days off. You rest your body. Go spend some time with your family before the Super Bowl run. And that's exactly what you're trying to accomplish there. But week 18, a little bit of a different animal. And, I, you know, I so many of the messages and texts and DMs I've got, which every time after a game, it's rough for me to get to everybody. So if you reached out to me, just understand, I'm getting to you. It's just Man, 100 plus text messages, 50 plus emails, all this stuff. And I'm, that's not a complaint. That's a wonderful thing. And I really do appreciate all you that do reach out to us. Uh, 49ers Rush Podcast at gmail.com. If you haven't and you want to, please, I, I want to have those conversations. It just takes me a while to get through them. But it, probably the number one topic was man, do we just rest everybody uh, for week 18? And you can't do that. The reason why you can't do that is you have 53 players. Of those 53, six. Are, well, seven technically are inactive, right? So now you're down, you know, you go from 53 to 56. You get that third quarterback that's an inactive emergency quarterback. But, like, now you're, fit, you know, sorry, 46 players. There's 22 starters, and that doesn't even mention special teams. Well, if you're just playing the backups, 22, 22, now you're at 44. Like, you don't have that many players. Most, you know, rosters carry eight offensive linemen. There's five offensive linemen out there, <laughs> so you can't rest everybody. It just doesn't work with the way the NFL has it. You can only elevate two practice squad players. So, yeah, if somebody's injured or dealing with something, that person's resting. CMC, that dude ain't playing. He's not suiting up this week. Um, here, again, just trying to rally back and forth this conversation to bracket this with, look, this is the way Kyle thinks. This is Kyle talking about how you handle resting players for Week 18. I really didn't think about it. Um, we we're just focused on this. I'm um, definitely try to rest some guys, um, but I mean you can't rest everybody. It's too hard. I mean, you don't have enough players, so we got to fill the team without a doubt. But um, and we're gonna have a big week of practice. You know, I still think there's lots of things we got to obviously get a lot better at. And the only way you do that is playing football and practicing football. So we'll have a big Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, figure out our roster as the week goes and decide what we'll do for Sunday. Yeah, so that's huge. So, you know, Quinn right there, we will rest our key players against the Rams. Probably not the entire game. Like, I think you treat it very similar to like a third preseason game where you probably play the first quarter. And so, yeah, I, I do think Brock Purdy. I do think all those, you know, Debo. I do think everybody's going to be out there, the starters, everything. Maybe not Trent, maybe not CMC. But I think most of those players are going to play. And then, then you start to, you know, usher in the backups as you go. So whenever you go and you see, you know, we've seen Sam Darnold so often out there because we're just blowing teams out consistently. Whenever Sam Darnold goes in and all the backups go in, 
You still keep Jake Brindle in your two guards. You get new tackles. McKivitz stays out there most of the time. You bring in your backup tight ends. You bring in your backup wide receivers and running backs. But you still got three or four starters out there. That That's going to have to happen. Defensively, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Now, maybe, you know, Jason Verrett gets work. On the defensive side, you're talking about Daryl Luter Jr., Robert Bill Jr., your young rookie linebackers. But that's what it's going to be. Uh, and so, yeah, some of the key players will rest, but I doubt they, they're going to play. Like I fully expect I, you could Debo and all those guys to be out there just because you don't want them getting two full weeks off. You want them staying in game shape. You want them staying, you know, clean game plan, execution, go through all that stuff. That's how you get better. Um, so I kind of think those things are kind of continue to be the way that they are, but Guess what? And this is one thing I'm excited about. We already have our tailgate up. We are 100% throwing parties throughout the entire playoffs and the Super Bowl whenever we make it to Vegas. Um, and if you want to come party with us, our divisional round tailgate is already set up. Now, we don't know the day. We don't know. It's going to be that Saturday or Sunday. But, man, go get your tickets now. They're cheaper than they will be. Uh, I always like to reward the early birds and knock off some of the price early on. Right now, it's the cheapest those are going to be. I'm not sure whenever I'm going to raise the price, but probably here in a couple days. So if you want to lock up your spot, you know, we only have so many. Um, if you haven't been to one of our tailgates, trust me, they're second to none. It is a premium tailgate with premium food, beyond prim premium drinks, full bar, bartenders, music giveaways, trivia. We had TVs going on. We got it all set up. And we're, we're going to try to do this time that's going to be a little bit different. If you want to come to the playoffs and experience the atmosphere but don't want to splurge to go into the game, we're going to leave our TVs up so that you can watch the game in the parking lot um, and do all that stuff. So head over to 49ersRushRoadTrip.com. Those tickets are up right now, cheaper than they will be at any other point during this week. So uh, go check those out if you haven't done so already. The 49ers Rush Podcast.